And that's not even mentioning what I think is the most critical feature of the Steam Deck that will absolutely be missing if you install Windows on this device. I've heard a lot of people talking about the Steam Deck as if it's just some other PC on the market. I've heard a lot of people lament the fact that the Steam Deck is going to be running SteamOS as its primary native operating system uh, and rejoice over the fact that they can install Windows on the Steam Deck if they so choose. Now, you're certainly able to install uh, Windows on the Steam Deck, but the question is, should you? I'd argue no. The Steam Deck is a game console that runs your Steam library. But if you go installing Windows on it, it'll cease to be a console. As someone who owns a GPD Win 2, I can tell you from experience that Windows is not an optimal experience when you just want to play games on a handheld. So let's talk about why installing Windows on the Steam Deck is a bad idea. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And you can also hit that like button if you enjoy this video or dislike it if you don't agree with me. So here are five reasons why installing Windows on the Steam Deck is going to be a mistake. Number five, the Windows UI. Windows is tailor-made for a mouse and keyboard experience. You can also use Windows on a touch screen, but that's to a much lesser extent. Let's suffice it to say Windows is optimized for a mouse and keyboard. Also keep in mind that modern versions of Windows are meant for a 1080p or greater screen resolution. That's 1920 pixels across and 1080 pixels tall. Smaller than that and you start to run into severe issues. See, Microsoft has been hard at work trying to optimize the Windows 10 experience uh, to work with modern touch devices. And since most PCs have a screen resolution greater than or equal to 1080p, uh, those touch elements are rather large and they need to be big in order for them to be touchable. But that also means that a 720p screen, or in the case of the Steam Deck, an 800p screen, these elements are going to be oversized for the device's screen resolution. And a window in Windows 10 is very likely going to overflow outside the screen real estate. So let's be kind and call that suboptimal. <laughs> But the biggest issue that I foresee with the Windows experience on the Steam Deck is that in reality, the Windows Touch experience feels kind of shoehorned in. On my GPD Win 2, which is a Windows PC meant for gaming, the touch experience on a screen that size is not great. Now, granted, the GPD Win, Win 2's screen is, is two inches smaller than the, uh, the Steam Deck's screen is going to be. It doesn't feel the same as using a touch uh, device like a, you know, a phone or a tablet. Now, some people would blame the sensors, but uh, I don't think that that's it. Even on my uh, Surface Book Pro, which is a Microsoft product, um, the touch on that device is just not optimal. It just has a very bad touch experience, and it, I think it comes down to the software. It's Windows. It's not the resolution or the screen. Keep in mind that on the Win 2 and on the Surface Book, I have multiple other options for input, right? On the Win 2, I have the the uh, the thumb keyboard and I have my analog stick, which can double as a mouse. And on the Surface Book, I have literally a, uh, a touchpad and a keyboard. On the deck, those really aren't options. Now, granted, on the Steam Deck, you could configure Steam input to emulate a mouse with the thumbstick. But again, that's a terrible option on the GPD Win 2. I, it's not responsive. It does not feel good to use. And even paired with like gyro input um, for the mouse, it's not great. I, I would still describe that as a suboptimal experience. SteamOS is going to be built for your device. So that means it'll be responsive to the touch screen uh, in a much better way than Windows could be. It's also going to be able to use the dedicated gaming controls to control the entire experience. And that is very important. I think people overlook just how important that really is. Finally, you could have a USB dongle that you plug into the Steam Deck and then connect a mouse and keyboard uh, if you wanted to use Windows on it. But that kind of defeats the entire purpose of having a Steam Deck, doesn't it? Number four, updates. One of the biggest gripes that just about everyone has when it comes to Windows is Windows Update. It's a constant, annoying, and unnecessarily slow process uh, that just gets in your way when you just want to get your work or your gaming done. Do you know how long it takes to install an operating system update on Linux? Most of the time, it the longest part of the process is actually downloading the files that need to be upgraded. <laughs> I've had kernel installs happen in as little as five minutes. They can happen in the background and only sometimes even require the machine to be restarted. And we're not talking like a Windows update restart. We're talking about 
about a, a normal reboot of the machine. It's just one and done. Boom. It's simple. And the updates can be done at your leisure whenever you get around to doing them. Now, Windows Update has made a few improvements over the last couple of uh, years specifically. But with Windows, there's literally no telling how long a system update is going to take. You could reboot the machine after you're prompted for the 18th time. And you could be stuck at 8% for 45 minutes until it magically jumps to 99% where another 20 minutes pass until it restarts itself. Uh, and it's for some reason now at 45% of the way complete. Uh, then it reboots itself one more time and it takes another half an hour to get from 80% to 100. Meanwhile, you can't get any of the work you need to do done or your gaming for that matter. And I'm not even trying to be super silly. Like that's actually something that's happened to me several times with Windows Update. And let's not forget that like, the updates for SteamOS will probably be a lot smaller than they are for Windows 10. Hey, it's time to upgrade. Oh, thanks, Steam. Reboot your machine, maybe. Five minutes later, you're back and playing the game. Number three, bloat. Now, if you're gonna install Windows on your Steam Deck and you're not keen on the idea of uh, running your Steam games off of an SD card, you're probably gonna wanna upgrade your internal storage. And you'll probably wanna go with something like a terabyte of storage. My Windows install on this machine takes 65 gigabytes. Now, I'm not counting any of the applications that I've installed. I'm not talking about Steam or any of the games. I'm talking about uh, the standard Windows 10 install, 65 gigabytes. Now, that's after having run multiple Windows updates, and there's probably some, like, you know, uh, hibernation files or some kind of crap in there, too. But 65 gigabytes when Windows isn't running is a pretty substantial portion of the 256 gigabytes of one of two models that can support installing Windows on it. I mean, if you installed Windows on a 256 gigabyte drive, you would probably have no space left whatsoever to install games on. 65 gigabytes of 256 gigabytes is about 25% of the overall total storage capacity of your machine. And if you get the larger version, that's still some 12% <laughs> of your internal storage dedicated to the OS. Contrast that with the standard desktop install of a Linux distro, and you're going to be somewhere around a gigabyte. I'd wager that SteamOS would probably use less than that. And that's not to mention all of the bloatware that comes pre-installed in bog standard Windows. Candy Crush Saga Windows 10 Edition, anybody? Or how about all the crap that you don't need in order to play games like Windows Mail or Calendar or Contacts? Now I can hear some folks saying, well, I'll just use like, you know, a de-bloated version of Windows, something like the Ameliorated Edition. Well, good luck with that, because uh, if you're going to play DirectX 12 games, uh, you, chances are good that Ameliorated Edition doesn't support DirectX 12 uh, the way you would expect. See, DirectX 12 is baked so deeply into the Windows ecosystem that uh, in order to download new features for DirectX 12, you actually have to download them through Windows Update. So if your goal of installing Windows on your machine is to maximize compatibility with your Steam game library, something like Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition is probably not the best choice. Optimizations and driver support. SteamOS and the Steam Deck have been built from the ground up to complement each other. The distinction here between hardware and operating system are blurred, and, and that's the way it should be with a games console. You want that kind of tight integration. In all likelihood, SteamOS is going to be tuned to an optimal battery life to performance ratio. And that's not something simple like fan curves and overclocking profiles. We're talking about things baked into the operating system like the GPU drivers. We're talking about background processes of the operating system. We're talking about things like the Linux kernel itself at the heart of SteamOS. If you were to clobber all that and install Windows instead, Windows would have absolutely no idea that it was running on a Steam Deck. It wouldn't have the custom built GPU driver from AMD and Valve. It wouldn't have any of the optimizations that Valve have made to ensure the best uh, performance or battery life for the device. And there's no telling if any of the bespoke hardware of the Steam Deck will have Windows drivers available. And that's not even mentioning what I think is the most critical feature of the Steam Deck that will absolutely be missing if you install Windows on this device. Number one, sleep and resume. Now, if you've ever played a Nintendo Switch uh, or a 3DS for that matter, you'll know that, you know, you can hit the power button, set the device down, go do something, come back and turn it on. And the game is exactly in the same state you left it in. I think a lot of people take this feature for granted. I can't overstate how important that feature specifically 
is for a mobile device. It might seem trivial uh, for bespoke hardware like, you know, the 3DS or the Switch to be able to do something like that, but it is not easy to achieve on x86 hardware. The Steam Deck running SteamOS will have this feature, and that is no simple task. You'll hit the power button on your Steam Deck after having played a couple hours of a game. The device will go to sleep. You'll be able to set it down, walk away, come back a couple hours later, turn the device on, and your game will be exactly as you left it. But I can 100% guarantee you that that feature will not be available in Windows 10 on the Steam Deck. Not only that, but Microsoft won't support that feature and won't even try to develop it. So it will be left to the community to build something akin to that. And I can tell you right now that when the community does come up with a solution, it will be buggy and it will be unreliable. And that's because that's the nature of Windows. Look, the Steam Deck is a console. It comes with hardware and software that are meant for gaming. It's a complete out-of-the-box gaming solution that will be able to play your entire Steam library. And in my opinion, installing Windows 10 on this device is going to be a mistake. But I would like to know what you think. Are you going to run SteamOS on your Steam Deck the way Valve intended? Are you going to install Windows 10? Are you going to try it and swap back and forth, maybe try dual booting? I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments. That's gonna do it for this video though. Uh, I wanna say thank you to all of my patrons and my YouTube members who make what I do here possible. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you wanna help support the show, you can head over to Patreon or become a YouTube member. Uh, both is greatly appreciated. Uh, that's gonna do it for now though. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now and have a blessed day.